Good morning. I've always found today's scripture reading to be a little bit troublesome. You know, the very thought that God knows me so well, even better than I know myself, causes me to be very careful what I think about and how I behave. But it also fills me with a certainty, a, a contentment, that despite who I am, God's with me. Let's read together. Uh, I want to read from Psalm 139, verses 2 to 6, and, and it's where King David is, is, is explaining who God is, and, and he's speaking to God. He's having a discussion with him, and he says this, You know when I sit down or stand up. You know my thoughts, even when I'm far away. You see me when I travel and when I rest at home. You know everything I do. You know what I'm going to say even before I say it, Lord. You go before me and you follow me. You place your hand of blessing on my head. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too great for me to understand. Uh, and so now the first few verses explain how well God knows us. And the reality is that I cannot hide from him. <laughs> And yet at some point, don't we all try and sneak away and hide away from him? You know, especially when we, we feel just a, a tad guilty or ashamed about something we've done. And yet still, he tracks us down. He, he finds us every single time because he cares enough for us not to leave us alone. You see, it's, it's not that he's policing us. It's not that he's just watching out for every false move that we make or for that little bit of doubt or stubborn sinfulness to show. No. Rather, he's like, a, 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 I see him like a, a proud father who's watching his child take their first steps or riding that bicycle for the first time. You know, he's always ready to catch when we start wobbling or, or about to fall off. And when we do fall down, he's there to soothe away those ouches and those anars when we fall. He even allows us the freedom to walk away from him. To leave his security and support. And, and yet his ears always open when we uh, cry out to him, help. We've made a mistake. We know that what we're doing is not right. You see, God knows where we're going. And he goes ahead of us. Uh, he knows the difficulties we're going to face. He knows the difficulties we are facing. He knows the hardships and the joys we're going to experience. And he's there for us. He knows us so well that he knows our thoughts and he even knows what we're going to say. <laughs> now, I know that many married couples who've been together for some time uh, are able to occasionally complete each other's thoughts. Or they occasionally come to the same decision independently of one another. Hey, it's taken me 30 odd, 38 uh, years before I can think uh, that I understand what Shirley's thinking about. You see, we've only just begun to know how each other's person thinks. And yet in his absolute sovereignty, God knows us, all our thoughts all the time. And the last two verses that we read really highlight God's grace and love for us. You know, despite our, cho our, our own personal choices, despite the road we're walking, God chooses to bless us. Uh, this blessing is, is also explained in Genesis ch uh, chapter 27 when we read how Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau so that they lived out their future with God's blessing and prosperity on them. God's hand of blessing on us is sufficient for us to live prosperously on. We do not have to fear lack nor shortages. God supplies all our needs. He is our provider. That's his blessing over us. And in these last few verses, we also consider God's grace to us. Even knowing our thoughts, knowing what we will do, God still chooses to love us and bless us. This is God's commitment to us. It's his grace demonstrated in our daily life. He doesn't wait for us. 
He acts first and He blesses us abundantly so we can walk in His abundant blessing always. And so today, whatever you're dealing with, know in your heart, make it a constant, continuous choice to remember. God knows me so well. He's always there for me and you. So keep your focus on Him today. Have an absolutely blessed day. Amen.